Okay, just doing a walk around here this morning. This is after a week of building on this house. Now we have a big four foot folding door going in here. So what we've done is we've created, by putting in panels horizontal, we've created like a four foot wide beam in essence to carry that roof load across on from side to side for support. It's one of the things about SIPs is you basically can make beams out of the panels themselves. Now this is our kitchen and up here almost done with all these vent openings up at the top so that's for the hot air to rise and escape. And we have this wall up here to finish it today here and then basically going in we're just in the process here now of extending up the gables there's one there's one of our vents up there that's venting the line to the kitchen and the bathroom and this is back out onto the the master deck here. And so this is just a standard eight, starts at our eight foot wall here and heads up. And here again, where we've made a, basically a beam out of a panel to carry across for this patio door. And we still, well, we got all of this to extend up yet. This is the bath and shower here, and laundry and closet area here that hasn't been framed in. And the second bedroom here, we're just same thing, closet area there, and this has to be extended up. All the gables extended above the eight foot level here. Okay, here we are at in Corinne's house as it's developing its character. So this is a rather warm morning, August 13th. So thought we would do a, a walk around to see how the house is developing. This week we've been busy finishing up all the gables and extensions of walls and edging out all of the windows and doors and corners. It's not a big house, but there's... 450 meters of corners as I was just telling the owners this morning if you were building out of concrete we spent less than two guys have spent part of the week doing this if you're doing this in concrete that would take you the entire crew three to four weeks just making corners out of concrete now there's our pile of garbage so far now a bunch of this we're going to use as the gable extensions between rafters so not all of that is going to be garbage but anyway it's just the same that gives you an idea of how much garbage there isn't on a site so here we are over in the other side of the house and this is here our roof is coming along nicely all our there's our extensions built going up between rafters or as we call the gables and this is our our back deck is shaping up this is a complete add-on the original architect had left the corner of this deck uncovered which didn't make any sense so that was changed so there's our teak rafters and there's a provision that will all be filled in that's provisional air conditioning so if somebody in the future wants to do this they don't have a battle and or the incredible ugly concept of having external wiring now this is the filler rod here 
This is what we use to pack in, in any of the spaces between the panels. And then we put an elastomeric caulking on here, something that's flexible. And how well that can be seen. And there with that. So the bathroom in there is a look at the infill and that's part of all of the those many meters of corner bead. Uh, well that's 450 meters, that's uh, over 1500 feet. This little house has a ton of cabling because it's having a security system, all the windows are connected, uh, cameras, so that's a lot of wiring. You can see, oh there's a, some of that wiring sticking out, so this is definitely kept. Daniel, there's more wiring. Of course, this is, you can see here, there's all of the ventilator windows have all been edged, as well as that's the front uh, window. There, and of course our big, our big door opening, we just got the price on that the other day, so that's about to be ordered. Uh, and so that's pretty much today's walk around. So this is the view from the east side of the house. That will, of course, next week see the rest of the rafters going up and ready for roofing. You can see if a part of the, the gable or the Eve extension is already there. This, of course, is all teak. Uh, as will be all of the tongue and groove ceiling, or what we call tablius. Uh, there's the extension. We're just working on that this morning. The extend the eaves out for this corner of the house. So that's today's wrap up. Till next time. Okay, here we are, first thing in the morning, August 22nd, doing a walk-around update of the house. So, over the last week, we have finished off the roof. And all the stuccoing, basically three coats of stuccoing have been completed, minus this wall, which is going to have a feature finish on it. There's our bodega or storage area as you might be more familiar with. And we put notice we put plastic around all of the rafter tails so that none of the stucco gets on our Nice teak work. And so from the back side of the house, we have we've finished all our upper level there. You see the rafter tail sticking out. We're just waiting for some more teak to finish off our eaves. But all the ventilators are there and we're actually starting on the steel work today to make up the louvers that will basically secure those openings. All the inside is just waiting now more or less for uh, all in inserts in and the shower walls are are done here. We meet up the framework, welded up the framework here to create a, a pocket door opening with some hardware from Chile that will ho hold up to a 170 pound door, which the same thing will be <coughs> going in. There's a triple closet door going in there and a double going in there. And 
This is the one of the views up as our all of our door and window openings get finished off as well. And that's sort of the walkthrough for today. So till next time.